more about the National Ladies Cricket Team and what they get up to during an early morning training session. And of course, we know all Kenyans would love to see the Kenya team go back to the glory days of uh, cricket. And maybe the ladies team might just do that. Check this out. The Kenya women uh, cricket team is made of, uh, we've got some of the senior players and uh, the juniors. I'm classically an all-rounder and in terms of batting I come within the middle order. That's between number five, six mostly. But at times required by the club I play for or the national team if required I can come up maybe between three or four. An all-rounder means that I can do anything. I can bat, I can bowl, I can field, I can also be a wicketkeeper. But uh, my favourite one is uh, batting because I really like hitting the ball so far. The ladies have been working hard and uh, quite a number of the tournaments they've played on. They've either come second or they've, they've come on number one. 2009, I remember we won the African Championship. It was held here at home and uh, it was our first trophy, which is a very great achievement. It really, it really showed that we can do it if we only believe in ourselves. Then the second uh, memorable moment would be in 2010 when we were this close to qualifying and we finally beat Zimbabwe as well. Zimbabwe is our greatest opponent, but that year we made sure that we won against them and it is only the run rate that really edged us out of it. Otherwise we would have qualified for the global qualifiers. At the moment we are working a lot in terms of development for upcoming players. Uh, another target would be in preparation for the next qualifiers. So we really need to work on our techniques and figure out what went wrong when we were playing that time to be able to be better for the next uh, qualifiers. To keep on working hard so that uh, God willingly this year uh, we play well and uh, we qualify. One thing I know about the characters that I have in the team is they're all humble. That is the first thing about them. They're all humble. They come from different backgrounds. No one judges you from where you come from. And there are people who love to be in a unit. And also what we are able to do after the game also matters. We're able to joke with each other. And when it comes to hard work, it's hard work. So that's the best thing I love about my team. We are humble and you can speak to each other and we're comprised of people of various ages, people who have families to people who are straight from high school. So that's the uniqueness about the team. I really want to mentor the younger ones and to make them better. So me coming here at six is also for the younger generation who are coming up for mentorship and just morale and self care. Yeah. If there is anybody outside there who is willing to sponsor the ladies, I would uh, be glad if he or she can come in. There is a bright future because uh, if you see the number of uh, the ladies who are playing now, it, it is amazing.
Well, it is time for us to wish you a farewell from Sports Central. But remember, if you want to stay in touch with us, you may do so. Follow all the social media that is scrolling across your screen. Speaking of social media on the TL, we've got Rashid Wanyama. You're saying you were just waiting on that show, Ikuje. Well, it may come. I hope you enjoyed it, my brother. And speaking of enjoying things, I see Joseph Joe's giving us a massive shout out from Roiro. Shout out to everyone who is tuned in from Roiro. And for our internet find of the week, we're going to leave you with moves from a street legend that we will be seeing more of in the next episode. But hey, Wanji, I think we wrap it up now. So until that episode, keep, keep it, it Sports, Sports Central. Central. Yeah.